Yo, what's up? This is the Next Gen Podcast, and I'm your co-host, Keesama. And I'm also your co-host, Christian. We're going to just get into, like, a brief, you know, topic today. Just something real quick for y'all to handle. I seen this video of uh, Meek Mill. What happened was Meek pulled up on some young kids hustling some water in Atlanta, and he gave them $20. It's situational from person to person on how they feel. In my opinion... I feel like Meek did nothing wrong. Like, I think nowadays we kind of, we ask a little too much from from our celebrities. My opinion on it is I'm more with the common narrative and that being like hella people were clowning on him for only giving him like 20 bucks. And you can even see it in the kid's face when he mm-hmm. receives it because he's like in this really like, you know, luxurious car. You know, he's probably fitted, had chains on, you know rapper lifestyle and for them to just receive twenty dollars if i was in his shoes i would have spared i'll probably give like 50 because it's like you know it's for the kids and 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 like yeah i hear you like i feel like he not a stranger to that but like what are we doing because i know a lot of people that comment on the video they not really putting in time with the youth it's like oh money this money that when i'm just like you know, money isn't everything. Like, I think, and then, like, another part in it, it's like he was asking them questions, and they kind of wasn't even trying to answer what he was like. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have had a motive of kind of, like, learning a lesson, but it, it seemed like they wasn't there for no lesson. They was there just to get the money. Like, you know what mm, I'm saying? That's a good point. Like, because it's Meek Mill, like, the opportunity to gain more knowledge was there. And like, it's valid because of how like, he got to the point where he is. Not to get into the semantics, but you know, he he has his word and it has value to it. But you do have a point with the kids, just let's ask him, he got hella money. He kind of asked them like, what am I supporting? And they didn't have an answer. Like, at least if they would have said it, they self like, man, we out here struggling. We selling water. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know some people may be like, well, they're selling waters. Isn't it kind of like, you know what I'm saying? A thing to where like, you know, they don't have money when that's not necessarily the case, because I've seen situations where quote unquote homeless people are homeless but then after they done, they hop in a, a vehicle, you know, and just drive off. Like, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff happens. I've been to Atlanta and I've been finessed out of money. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you're naive, they going to pick you apart. It's just that simple. Yes, I do believe we should be supporting the youth. But I was just like, man, what about like, like lessons and stuff like that? Like you said, like. That $20, it, it wasn't a lot, but think what it could have got them. It, each of them could have got their own pack of water and got away from each other. I don't believe these young dudes should all be selling water in the same spot. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, pretty unofficial, you know? <laughs> and, like, only one of them was holding the water. Like, all of yeah. them were, like, empty-handed. So, you know what I'm saying? If this really, like, a hustle, like... You got to start thinking about it like that. And I was like, I even put it in another sense. Like, how is that teaching them good business? And you selling something, you don't just change the price because of the people that's walking in your door. Like, you know what I'm saying? It usually stay a certain price until like, uh, you know, it becomes a certain demand for it. And then you kind of higher or lower your price from there. Like that wouldn't be teaching them correct business sense. And I know people will probably be mad at me, like, man, these kids, they starving. But I'm like, but on the other flip, it's kids out here that that are business savvy and they know know what they're doing and they actually selling products and making making wealth for their families, like at a young age. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a man of fish. Yes, like, yeah, like I really want to be one of those people that, you know, help help people, but then again, like help them like help them grow and not enable. And I think we do a lot of enabling in our, in our, in our, in our spaces and stuff. And I'm just like, I want to hold kids accountable to, to learn more information than we actually learn. You know what I'm saying? We kind of give kids the benefit of the doubt because they like, oh, they young, 
you know, let them be kids. Like, yes, it is letting them be kids. But then again, you got to be feeding your kids the right information. All right. So you just tuned into the Next Gen Podcast. Hopefully you enjoyed what me and Keith were talking about. Um, let us know. All feedback is good feedback. Um, see y'all. You know what I'm saying? We out. Deuces. Mm-hmm.